Hello everybody, it's Donnie with El Gallo Fly Fishing Lodge and today I've got something that I'm really excited about. This is the unboxing <coughs> of a brand new fly vise. So this is a fly tying vise from Regal Engineering. Um, it's something that, uh, that I've been using for a long time, just not this particular one. Uh, this right here is one that I've had for about 20 years. So it's the traditional um, rotary vise that, um, that is not a real true rotary vise. It's the original head and uh, it's not quite big enough for what I'm doing anymore. So like four aught, five aught hooks, six aught hopefully is what I'm gonna be able to do with this one right here. So this is the big game head and it's actually the revolutionary um, model that is a true, you know, rotary vise. So let's get into it. So <clears throat> in the interest of full disclosure, um, I, I purchased this retail. <clears throat> Um, I'm not paid by these guys, and um, please trust the fact that you will get an honest opinion of what I think about this thing. So, if it sucks, I'm going to tell you it sucks. Everything's packed up really nice. So, things that I've found with the uh, with the Regal vices in the past is. Um, you know, they, they make a great product. They really do. And they've got a lifetime warranty on their jaws. Although I have called about problems in the past with them. And um, they kind of, kind of dismissed me a little bit. And that kind of irritated me. But um, the biggest problem with it all was that, you know, I only had one vice at that point. <clears throat> and what they wanted me to do was send in the vice so that they could inspect it to see if it was quote unquote their fault, right? Well, I didn't want to send my vice in, my one and only vice that I love tying on, so. All right. Just kind of right off the bat, you know, this thing has um, a counterbalance on this side to allow for this big crimp arm over here. The thing that I really like about Regal vices or have liked in the past is that basically if you want to put a hook in it and keep it very, very secure, it's just one fluid motion, right? So this is a 3 aught Gamakatsu SC15. The jaws work a little bit differently than what I'm used to. So there's like a groove in this thing that you can stick the hook in and it kind of fits in that groove. Otherwise, you know, they have a tendency of moving whenever you're, whenever you're trying to secure them down. or like tying thread really tight, you know, it has a tendency of moving. There it goes, that's the groove right there. Okay, so I think that this could probably be loosened up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I think that's gonna do really well. So, how big of hooks will this actually hold? Well, this right here is a different three aught and this is actually a fly that I want to teach you guys how to how to how to tie it's called a uh, unskinny pop basically it's a really big profile popper for like Dorado and uh, whenever rooster fish are really really excited they'll they'll eat this really well very secure very good the base actually kind of moves a little bit whenever Whenever you pick up on it, that's a good sign. All right, this is actually a five aught hook, so let's see how that fits in there.
five odd hooks do very well. Okay, that's that's bigger than what I thought it would. So <clears throat> with my traditional vise, a five aught hook is absolutely not going to fit in there, and I can't even really snug it in <clears throat> to that side right there. So let's see how big we can go. Let me grab a six aught hook real fast. Okay. This is actually a six aught circle hook. Fits it in there, no problem. Secures it down in the lock. That's very good. All right, just for grins and giggles, here's a seven knot hook that is intended to be used for marlin fishing. Fits in there, no problem. No problem. It's actually very secure too. So, <clears throat> all right, so what my thoughts are with this is, I'm not real sure that, that this rotary function is going to be important with bigger flies, but I can see that it would be very important with, uh, with some of the smaller ones. Um, this head, it looks to be as though you can just pull it off and use it interchangeably. Uh, just the same as all the other ones. So I've got midge heads and uh, this traditional head, like like I like I said before. So it's something that uh, that looks like it's going to be pretty versatile. I'll probably need some some pliers or something to get this thing off of here, but uh, it's locked down there pretty pretty well. But I think I think that it's going to work out really well. Um, do I regret buying it? Absolutely not. I think that it's a, it's a really good addition to the tool set that I have already. And I can see that, uh, that I think it's, it's going to be very beneficial to have. Um, do I think that the normal person needs it? Yeah. Um, I mean, this is a very expensive vice, right? This is, this is 600 bucks. Um, the thing about the first Regal vice that I ever bought was, uh, was 20 years ago, it was this one right here. You know, and, and bar a couple of small problems with the jaws, um, basically because I put too small hooks in it. Um, you know, it, it's been a great vice. I've, I've, I've cooked up literally hundreds of thousands of flies on this thing and it, it's, it's taken pretty much all the abuse that I could have put through it. Um, I, I, I think that if you were going to do a lot of things that, uh, that, you, were, that you needed a rotary vice for, I think I would lead with this one, and uh, and probably probably not worry about getting the uh, the traditional head. But you know, it's it's pretty versatile in the fact that you can you know you can use it in a multitude of different ways. So um, it's kind of a pain in the rear to have to have a tool for this right here to change your angle. But truthfully, I mean, I don't know how many times I'm going to be changing that angle. And then I can I can probably loosen that up a little bit actually to uh, to change it whenever whenever I want to yeah so that that'd probably be a little bit better for my setup truthfully but maybe a little bit tighter than that all right the paperwork. Congratulations on your purchase of an authentic Regal Vice made in the USA, so that's good news. They don't really beat on their chests about that lifetime warranty as much anymore, but uh, yeah, so I was, uh, I'm pretty impressed with this. <clears throat> I think that it's a good purchase and I think that, uh, that it will serve me well and my needs if uh, if you're catching some of the bigger fish, stripers, largemouth bass, uh, hybrid bass, all of the the, uh, the species of saltwater stuff, tarpon, um, you know, the pelagic fish, dorado, um, you know, all all of those things that you need bigger hooks. I think that this is an incredible tool, and I think that it's going to to do well for you. So, I think it's worth it. So. I'm Donnie with El Gallo Fly Fishing Lodge, and I hope that you've enjoyed this review. 
uh, an unboxing and I will give this thing probably a couple of months worth of use and then I'll, I'll get back with you and let you know exactly what I think about it. But um, I can see also that there's a magnet here on the top of it. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, so anyway, give me a chance to play around with it and I'll give you an honest opinion of, of what I absolutely think about it. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you found value in this, please go ahead and, and throw a like on this thing and um, subscribe to us if you would, please. So thank you. Enjoy your time on the water.